Recently, I came across this book called Mayans Antiram. It's a translation of a very ancient text, recently translated, and it describes basically the structure of the vacuum. It describes the fundamental structure of creation, the fundament stru fundamental structure of space. And it says that it is based on a 64 grid, a 64 squares of space. And you know that I have come to conclude to the fundamental structure of the vacuum is a 64 tetrahedron grid. Now if you rotate tetrahedrons, depending on the angle at which you're looking at, they define the dynamic of a cube, of a square. So to find this in a very ancient text is an amazing thing. I'd like to quote a little bit of what was written at the introduction of this book by the translator. From the introduction by Dr. S. P. Sabaratnam, entitled The Science and Technology of Manduka Mandala, he states, to sum up the principles of the frames of 64 squares as expounded by Mayan in this work, the frame of 64 squares is the graphic and atomic structure of the whole cosmos. It is the basic design of inner space and outer space, enclosed space and built space clearly defining the structure of the vacuum. It is the modified version of Pranava Om. The exact center of the frame of 64 squares is called primal dot. Again, a fair description of singularity. This primal dot is actually square in shape. Even within the square dot, there is the presence of 64 squares. This is a perfect description of a fractal recursive structure. Within the square dot, there occurs the speedy gyration of time, and this describes the spin component of space-time. Along with this in this book is a variety of description of very advanced technology based on that 64 structure dynamics that powers literally in their own terminology spaceships, ships that are able to hover and travel through space and travel through our solar system and maybe even our galaxy. One example of the description of these devices is found in verse 790. It reads, the primal central square dot is associated with all the energies of space fields. The treaties dealing with the construction of spacecraft explain through science and technique of central dot, time measures, and 64 squares. Various features of the aircraft, such as the structural pattern, speed control, wheels, fitness of pilot, exact position of pilot, fly course in the sky, swiftness of time, etc quite amazing for a text of that antiquity considering that the people of the time wouldn't even have a concept of a flying machine or a machine period 